Hi, I'm Alicia from Food Wonders of the World and today we're going to make vanilla kipfer. These are vanilla crescents and they're a German Christmas biscuit that my family made all through December. This is my mother's recipe, she taught me how to make this and um, I have very fond memories of making these with her. So I've got 210 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature and I'm going to add the 140 grams of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla sugar into here and then uh, I'm going to beat that until creamy. You can find the recipe on um, Food Wonders of the World website but there's a link below. So you can see the butter and the sugar is nice and creamy now. So we add the almonds and the plain flour or all-purpose flour. And then just a knife tip of baking powder like so. And then we just mix this in together. And essentially what I'm trying to do is get a dough. I do find though it's a little bit easier if I use my hands. So this dough is quite crumbly and a bit fragile, um, but we don't have to roll this out, we just have to create little crescents so it's a bit easier than to manipulate. So the shape of this, as I said, is a crescent, it's like a horseshoe really. And uh, these are one of the favourites of all of the German Christmas biscuits in my family. These tend to go very quickly. Okay. So you can see that's now clumping together. So if I wanted to, I could put that into a big dough ball. But as I said, we don't have to roll this, so there's no, no any need for it. So I've got the oven on at 170 degrees. And all I'm doing to create these is I grab a small, about a tea, heaped teaspoonful and I just roll these into a sausage. As you can see, it's a bit crumbly. I can do this on a workbench. <laughs> you can see it's breaking apart a little bit. That's okay. Okay, so I've got roughly 10 centimetres and I just shape it into a horseshoe or crescent like shape like that. And then you put that on a greased baking tray and space them apart a little bit so as they do rise a touch. And then that goes into the oven for about 15 minutes. Okay, so these have come out of the oven and I've let them sit for about 5 minutes so that they don't break if you took them off straight away and so I'll just take these off and then put them on a cooling rack uh, um, these are quite cool and easy to handle it's probably been a little bit more than five minutes but what you want to do is roll these in icing sugar or confectioners sugar depending on where you come from so in here I've just got just a few tablespoons of icing sugar and all you do is simply roll them so it's covered and it sticks quite easily and that's it, that's a finished product. So these can be stored in an airtight container up to two months and that's it, so that's your vanilla crescents or Gurzler as my family calls them as well. I hope you have a great Christmas. Thanks for watching.